CSG Gamecast episode number 185, a weekly podcast created by gamers and streamers alike to discuss the latest gaming topics from the previous week. We stream a new episode every week and, and release it on podcast services like Apple, Google Podcasts, Stitch Radio, Podbeat, and so much more. So show us some love. Do us a favor and give us a like on Facebook and subscribe on YouTube or Twitch or, uh, or go to any podcast services out there or Go to our main website, confreaksgeeks.com, to not miss an episode. I am Mr. CFG Games himself, Davis Green, and with me today is my awesome co-host who decided to go check out Evo today and uh, and and loves it. I am talking about the five-star general of the itty bitty Smitty Committee. I'm talking about Smitty on the third seat. What is going on, my dude? Yo, chilling. Actually, the second seat, but it's all good because no, our you're still friend third. Lex is out. Oh, whoa, whoa, whoa. Take it easy. You're perma Take third. it easy. <laughs> you are perma third. You are perma You see the abuse I have to take being on this podcast? I hate it. I hate you don't it. hate it. No. <laughs> <laughs> Yo, Evo, it, it, like we were just talking about it too. Uh, it was electrifying. The energy there, it is absolutely packed. The parking garage was full. I just valeted so I can get in. I had equipment with me. Lots of people are out there. Saw a lot of people out there. Uh, saw my man, uh, ble- uh, beloved, uh, with Five Force Fighters was down there. Ran into Merck Anthony's and 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 Logan Radio Rocks. Uh, the folks over at uh, Vegas Inferno. Uh, saw Salvador from Storm Rush Gaming. I saw Efran playing uh, Project L. Uh, th- that's Riot's new fighting game that they're working on. So, I mean, dude, it, it is, yeah, it is electrifying out there. There are some some hype matches going on in the back. So, overall, uh, it was dope. I could have spent all day down there. I would have been cool with that. But I may go down to championship uh, tomorrow and check it out for a bit. We'll see how it goes. But other than that, though, I've been I've been grinding on Exo Primal. I've been grinding on Exo Primal. It, I, I'm just having a blast. It literally is so far of 2023. It's the game that I didn't know that I needed. Um, I, it's just a lot of fun. There's some things that I wouldn't say it's a great game yet. I think it's a good game. Uh, there's some things like the cross play stuff that they need to address because it made zero sense uh, why they would make matchmaking cross play, but not you can't cross play party play. Uh, so that's a little annoying, but other than that, though, I really haven't. I need to get down and I need to finish up Final Fantasy 16 as well. I got I two crystals left. Believe you, you're crystals. not done with that yet. I know, dude. Exo Primal, Exo Primal came in like a wrecking ball, and I just I can't stop. Like that has literally turned into like my Overwatch. Basically, you can go in to, like the matches only last like 10, 15 minutes at most. So you can hop in, get a couple in, boom, hop out, do some other things. I already finished the story. There's a new, uh, the new mode that's like a time mode. Uh, I don't know what the frequency is. It was off a little bit ago, but it's back on. I tried it last night. We cannot get through it uh, with randos, so I still haven't beaten it. I got master though on the first one, so I'd like to do the same. Uh, we'll see. We'll see how it goes. Wow, no. Dust says 10 for 10, perfect game, once they fix the crossplay. There is no such thing as a perfect game. Well, there is a such thing as a perfect game, and I will say Exoprimal is not a 10 for 10. It's not a perfect game to me. I don't it's know. Have game. you played it? Yeah, I've been playing. I played Are it. You, oh, all right. Yeah, have you, I you haven't it. even said anything to anybody. I just played it. Like I'm just, I went to a fr- I don't have it myself, that's why. But I go to. A, I went to a friend's. <laughs> Uh, well, you already know. I mean, I don't buy. I don't have Xbox Game Pass, and I don't have. Uh, yeah. And I and I refuse to buy this game because it's too expensive in my in my eyes. But I like, agree. Uh, yeah. So I decided. You know what? It, I just wanted to play it with a friend, so I went to a friend's house and I, I messed around with it. I can see the appeal. It's a good game. Uh, it's no, definitely so a good the, game. So the story is actually solid on it. It's a it's a good story, but with with. with twists and turns and uh it you know at first i wasn't really paying attention to it but then it just it 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 grabbed me and it started captivating me and and like i really like you know i i connected with the story and just what was going on like i actually enjoyed the story so and it was cool Mm -hmm. how even though it's like a pvpve situation and whatnot you still are going through story missions where like everybody in the group has to do them and stuff like that and like Mm -hmm. um i don't know man like okay I can't deny it. I, I think it's, I think at 
best right now, I think it's a forty dollar game. Yeah, you I know what? Wait, like, you know, you know I, I, I don't. I don't want to sound like an elitist. I'm sorry to cut you off, but uh, uh, I don't want to sound like an elitist <laughs> when it comes to this. But I will say this because I like I you and I already talked about it because like how much like when someone gives a game a perfect score, it it, it means it like it's it means it, it kicks different with me like perfectly uh, with me because like that means that game nothing's wrong with it. It is flawless and there's nothing that needs to be changed into it and stuff. But like uh, and 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 there's no harm. There is no problem for a game to be like you know a nine or an eight or whatever but i'm just saying that like the game should not be touched and i think what was the example that i have yeah <laughs> like i think i said uh i think the game like that was the last of us for me like the, uh, the original last of us that came that out on the ps3 per- yeah like that yes. that's the last perfect game for me because that's the game that i do i, I don't want them to change anything out of it like they, they, uh-huh. it was just a perfect perfect story perfect gameplay everything was good to me on that but uh, uh, but like I think Exo like Exo Primal's up is up there. I give it about I give it about an eight or a nine, and then uh, it's uh, fun. It's it's fun. It's especially the fun with multiplayer. Factor is just there. The fun factor is yeah, there, even though fun. like they don't have a lot of maps and stuff like that right now. And like you start like especially as you're going and leveling things up, you know what I mean. It, it 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 never feels repetitive because the scenarios change every time, even though it's a different map or whatever the the fact that the scenarios change and it's random it makes it feel fresh and new like every time you get into a thing so uh yeah i'm 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 really enjoying it i didn't i remember seeing a trailer and being like meh kind of reminds me of anthem like kind of a sour <laughs> taste in my mouth um but you know getting my hands on it and playing it thank you game pass otherwise i would not be playing it mm-hmm. um definitely like it's 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 a good game. It's yeah, a good it's game. game. I'll, I'll say that. I will say but, that. But for a game to tear you off of Final Fantasy 16 is crazy to me. That's why I find it. It is. <laughs> I know. I mean, but dude, I just started grinding it because like I, I kept like wanting to know more about the story and then leveling up my exosuits. Excuse me, and I was like, "Well, I'm just gonna crank this out, dude." <laughs> you're like at the yeah, you're literally at the halfway point of Final Fantasy. Just just finish the freaking game. I know, game. I know. Just finish the freaking game already, Jesus. <laughs> but you gotta understand, dude. I got a lot going on, and like, I just don't have a lot of time to like just sit down and invest some hours into. You know, it, it's harder for me to to get that time to do that and, and it's been a super busy week too like mm-hmm. work wise and other things too so it was all playing into a factor but i haven't forgotten about it we we definitely going going to finish that up here uh mm-hmm. real soon He's it's gonna be it's gonna be a metal gear solid situation <laughs> that's what's gonna happen i just have a it's feeling now, it's, it's gonna be a metal gear solid situation now, again for you now uh tears of the kingdom probably i have like <laughs> i have maybe put in a, like Maybe an hour or two. So to the kingdom, you game. already to the kingdom, you already wrote that off. <laughs> like bro, after, bro, after like, week two, yo, you're done. You know you're what else like, that okay. came out that I got last night? Telltale's Telltale Games is back, by the way. The Wolf Expanse. I don't know if you've oh, seen the Expanse. That's a great yo, show. Top top five, I think, like all time sci fi shows. Uh, is really really good. So I had to get the Telltale. And it's fantastic so far. I've only got about an hour in it. Um, but does it yeah, play like the old? That too. Does it play like old Telltale games, or is it? Oh, absolutely. Different? Yeah, oh, no, okay. no, no. It feels like a. It feels like a Telltale game. Uh, the 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 chick that plays drummer on the show, it's her voice and and other people's voices and stuff like that. So I'm mm. just excited to see what the story is. Uh, in terms of because it seems like this is after how the series ended. I believe. Mm-hmm. Oh no, no, no. Maybe before. Maybe before. I, I gotta I gotta I gotta look at it. I think before actually. Yeah. But yeah, really yeah, to see really good it's show. good, dude. Yeah. Yeah, definitely with that so. really Kurt. I didn't know they made the game to be honest with you. I'm actually surprised that that one's definitely slipped under me right there. Yeah. So- it was, it's deck nine. The <clears> folks <throat> that did uh uh oh gosh. Oh Life is Strange. The folks oh, that did Life is Strange are behind it. Yeah. Oh really? It cool. was them okay. and uh yeah, yeah, yeah. Yep. They made it or they published it? That's a great question. I think Telltale made it. I think Deck Nine published it. Okay. Well, let's, let's or find something. Out. I'm not 100% okay. sure. So Telltale published it and. Oh, 
Deck Nine developed it. Okay, so Telltale all right, and so Deck I'll Nine completely did it. backwards. No, no, you were completely you're, backwards. You know, you were <laughs> actually half right because they they did both of it. <laughs> developed and okay. yeah, they developed okay, and they published. Right. <laughs> yeah, so there you go. <laughs> they did go out unknown. So this is their first thing back in uh, since they basically went defunct. So wasn't Tales you know, of Borderland? Had, Tales of Borderland Two was not them. Did it, was that also Telltale? Because I thought mm, Tales of the Borderland Two. I sure. don't know. I don't know in terms of that. Lands yeah, two. they came back. Telltale definitely came back. Oh wow! Okay, so they were out for a little bit, dude. Use code. One out of ten for fifty free glass half full CFG pulls and rays. <laughs> <laughs> glass half full? What? Like, dude? Like, I'm just. Hey, it is what it is. God, it is what dude, it is. Glass half empty. <laughs> what? What? A, dude, like, here's the thing. Is this as, curmudgeon. As a person that has reviewed. Or or has been, had to review hundreds of different kinds of games like in in that period of time. You have to be strict, like like yeah. you have to be perfect on these. Like you can't just it. give out. You can't give out perfect scores. You can't be biased it. towards it. So so I am I very it. I'm very critical when it comes to these kind of things. So <laughs> so yeah, it, it's, it has been a while. It's been at yeah. least a few years unknown. Was it a while uh, then? Yeah, it was about. It's been about four years. The last time when when yeah. uh, when when Telltale shut down, and then Skybound bought to the the, the remains of of Telltale, and uh, and they were making games in the back because uh, they wanted more Walking Dead's at the time, which they actually oddly enough never came back to. So it was kind of funny, but uh, yeah. So that's freaking awesome. Well, dude, yeah, yeah. it's just a yeah. lot of games, dude. It's, like, it's, it's a lot of games, man. Mm-hmm. That's all there is. Dude. I was like, look, dude, like. If your game cannot hold a person's attention for long enough, it, then, I mean, it is what it is. Like, you don't have time to have these kind of missteps uh, that some of these companies have been having because there's just too many good games out there. Mm-hmm. And people are going to move on. This ain't like back in the day where it's like you get a new game, like, for for your bir- for Christmas and then maybe your birthday. Mm-hmm. Uh, you know what I mean? Like, And that's all the new games you got, and that, that shit got to hold you down. For the rest of the year. <laughs> yep. <laughs> Nowadays, it's like, wait a second, I make my own money. I want all the games. I'm give an them, adult. Give them to me all. I'm an adult. I'm an adult. Yeah. Give it to me. <laughs> Remember when you bought your second PlayStation 5? It was like, I didn't know you could do that. <laughs> I, I didn't. I was like, I never even thought this was something that you could do. Is I was it? like, why not? Why shouldn't I have two PlayStation 5? <laughs> I worked hard for my money. This is what I'll use it for. Yeah, that's exactly it. It's so funny. Like, when, like when I did it, I was like, "Yeah, I wanted one in the living room and one at the uh, one in my office." And that's how that's how it works. <laughs> oh, I think man. I was having a conversation with you that made me realize that, like, oh, you, oh, I can do that. Why, why can't I do that? One for here and one for the bedroom. Like, what? That makes sense. <laughs> and you know what I did? I wrote that off. Exactly. Thank you. Sometimes two birthdays in one day. Exactly. And exactly. It's a whole, the, the write-offs. Exactly. Mm-hmm. That's how it goes. Uh, as for me, though, uh, this week, uh, uh, well, this week's been was pretty busy. Uh, I went to Final Fantasy Fan Fest on last last weekend. Yeah. I came back. Uh, oh, I didn't tell you this, Smitty, but I actually stayed an extra day in Vegas. Uh, what? Yeah, yeah. I just because uh, so so what happened was like when you dropped me what off. What happened was yeah. <laughs> I had an excellent time there, right? Like I had a great time uh, with uh, doing the fan fest. Uh, then I, I say, then I say with Smitty at the end of my my thing, and then he he dropped me off at the airport. Uh, but oh yeah, we also had a a crazy time with with karaoke. That was awesome. That was so which, much fun. That was yeah, so that was a lot fun. of fun. Yeah. So uh, so then uh, what happened was I was going to go on my flight. I got I was all booked. I was all ready. I was going in. Then then they said uh, Southwest Airlines. They said uh, hey. Uh, we overbooked the price the uh the flight. Um, is anyone willing to get give their seat away, uh for uh give their seat away and stuff, and then uh, we'll we'll pay you triple your your seat value, and they'll and they'll take care of a hotel. They'll they'll take care of a hotel, and you can fly the next day. So I was say like, thinking, less. yeah. For the <laughs> longest of time, I was like thinking to myself. For the longest time, when they ever say that, it's like I always wondered whose lifestyle like could just uppity split and just say okay let me just do that and uh 
and just and then just come out, just leave the next day because usually people time these their trips to the points where they're yeah. like okay i gotta work tomorrow or got other stuff i have to take care of and i'm like mm-hmm. oh i don't have to worry about that i could do it so i did so i was like hey uh how much are you gonna give me the ticket for it's like oh we'll give you uh, uh we'll give you i believe like eight hundred dollars for your ticket and i was like okay and then they they bust yeah. me in and i left the next day and i was like okay cool so i got the i got child credit so i stayed yeah so i stayed up and the and the, uh, stayed in the hotel like a not like a classy hotel or anything but like an airport hotel <laughs> and uh <laughs> and then just left the next day uh but it was fun it was definitely fun uh but then came back uh came back home and uh uh, been playing a lot of uh, Baldur's Gate three, which we will be discussing mm-hmm. about uh, today. So it was it, it's it was it was really fun. So uh, it was also cool to just hang out, meet the guy, meet the gang and stuff like that over in Vegas. Uh, Vegas. I know. Originally, I was going to go do the Evo tournament, but because of some unforeseen circumstances, I couldn't do it. So I had to go. Uh, had to leave earlier. Uh, but uh, yeah, but definitely. But Evo just seems like it's a fun time over there. Just insane time over there too. So it is. Yeah. <clears throat> Yeah, yeah. But anyway, let's go through the normal rig and roll that we like to do each and every week. So uh, each of us chooses a topic of discussion through the previous week. The topic would or could be a game itself or something that happened in the previous week in, or uh, in the world of video games. And uh, we don't want to talk about it amongst ourselves. We want you, the uh, the listeners or viewers on Twitch, on YouTube, on Facebook, on Kick, on TikTok, to be a part of the conversation. See, this time I didn't say Facebook twice, so there you go. I learned. Yeah, good job. Good job. <laughs> so, so, guys, by all means, by issue, uh, there's there's multiple ways to get in contact with us. Just type it inside the chat if you're wanting to be a part of our conversations. As always, we encourage it, and we will discuss it with you, the listeners and the viewers. So, uh, before we go, we see Baldur's Gate. Can't wait to play it. Oh God. Okay. Yes. Uh, sent you a vid oh okay cool all right we'll leave that to that uh uh but uh <laughs> yeah but anyways it's my uh i didn't tell you the order smitty but i'll go first on this one i uh, figured with the title and everything that we're probably put, going with you first your detective skills <laughs> <laughs> i see your powers me. of deduction yeah no. <laughs> it's impeccable unbelievable <laughs> <laughs> oh man but uh yeah so i'm gonna be talking about baldur's gate man and uh, and i'm gonna I'm not, and I'm not gonna lie so okay so this is what happened uh two years ago they announced baldur's gate and there's a lot of games that hit but that hit me like like because i played the first two Baldur's gate and i loved them so when they said mm-hmm. baldur's gate 3 i was like okay i'm gonna buy it there's no way uh, and I misheard them because you already know if you know anything about me, you know how much I hate Steam Early Access, how much I hate Kickstarters and stuff like that. Yeah. Uh, because of this kind of stuff. Uh, and uh, and I understood, but I I mis I misheard. I thought there was going to be released two years ago. Uh, so oh. when when uh, so when I when I bought the game and it came out, uh, and it came out when they said it came out. I thought it was the complete game, but then they said that it was not this was just the uh beginning of what they what they had but they're still working on it uh the, so it's currently in steam early access so i was very disappointed so i said you know what i'm not gonna let this ruin it i'm just gonna put this on the shelf when it's done it's done and i completely forgot about it until like a month ago when they said hey ball gates 3 is coming out and then and then i thought to myself didn't i buy this game and i looked on my list <laughs> and <laughs> And then I was like, oh, my God. Yeah, I did. Oh, wait, I do remember buying this two years ago. <laughs> so, yeah, finally. Oh, so, so you purchased it two years ago? I bought it two years ago. I bought it. I paid what? 60 I paid sixty dollars early access and never played it i never played it i played no i played <laughs> i played like a little bit of it i played for about maybe an hour or two and then i was uh. dis i was disappointed because i was because Ooh. because the game well the game wasn't really the game it was just like early the access. job yeah it's early <laughs> access so i was saying to myself because like my nostalgia of Baldur's gate and stuff like that i was like you know what no i'm not going to touch this game until it's complete I'm not going to touch it. I'm not going to look at it. I'm not going to read anything about it. I'll just wait till the game is complete. Uh, so fi- so then after that, I mean, look, and, I mean, look at the two year span. Look how many games came out during that time. So like it was easy for yeah. me to forget about it. So uh, when I finally when it finally came out, uh, so a month it, when the hype is starting to, you know, when the buzz about Baldur's Gate three is coming out, the official release of it's coming out 
got closer to it then i just remembered wait did i get this game and then and i looked at i looked at my list found it and i was like okay let me reinstall it but then there was a couple of weird things that they did which i can kind of understand like that like there was no pre pre download when the game came out so you had to yeah. wait till 100 and something gigs right it is dude this game is bigger than final fantasy 16 <laughs> this game's uh this game was a uh, a uh, 122 gigs. Yeah, it was 122 Ooh. gigabytes. Yeah, it, it's it's crazy. It's meaty. But yeah, it's, it's incredibly meaty. it is incredibly meaty of a game, and it's like, but dude, like I will say this, and and and, and it, this is and surprisingly enough, I'm surprised enough that this definitely is a game of the year contender because like I uh-huh. I bar none of like this is if I had to choose between Final Fantasy 16 and Baldur's Gate, I'm going to have to choose Baldur's Gate. That like yeah because like that. like dude the freedom of this game is insane on what you can do like in this game like like uh there and and it's like all by choices it's it plays mm-hmm. like a it plays like a D and have you ever played Baldur's Gate before? I've never played Baldur's Gate. Oh okay okay so yeah it plays like a D and D campaign kind of like right. this it's okay tur- it's turn based. Yeah, uh, and like you go through. I've played games like that, even mm-hmm. in VR. Uh, mm-hmm. and I, I love, I love that stuff. Like I'm literally on the cusp of like I've gotten like it's sucking me in, dude. Because like I know it's good, and I think like this make, game yeah. Yeah. is right up my alley. Though what I'm looking at is time, and am I really gonna have the time <laughs> to to maximize this and and play it? And and whatever, absolutely I don't know. not. You do not I have know. the time. That's you absolutely do not have the it. time. Yeah, <laughs> but like, yeah, but like, uh, no. But I'm saying, like, because like, what you can, like, your choices are depending on your class. Like, for instance, the customizations uh, spot for your character that you can make took me two hours to mess around with, like to just mess around ah. and just deal and customize and stuff. Let you, uh uh like uh, uh to just deal with all of that kind of uh, all kind of things uh what's cool about it though too is that it also has like uh the, your options have direct consequences and things like that and I things love like that, that. Like, it this is, is so my kind of impressive game. yeah it's so impressive like there's ah. a part there's a part where you so like uh I'm where you where, where you're finding a squirrel. <laughs> yeah you're talking to a squirrel the the funniest thing because i was with a party with yesterday i was playing it and i was actually i was at this part as early in the game you're talking to a squirrel or a squirrel comes up at you squirrel looks at you then all of a sudden starts gnawing at your feet and then you're like one and then you're like looking at it again then it gives you a choice it gives you a choice of like saying uh tr- uh, uh try to talk to the squirrel or ki- or or, ki- or kick the squirrel and then I was like, oh. yeah, because like I, my, since my intelligence or my, my, I think it's my wisdom or my charisma or whatever was, was low, was too low to talk to the squirrel. Uh, I was like, okay, I might as well just kick the squirrel. And then, so they tell you to, to roll the dice to see if you're, if, you, if you're able to kick the squirrel or something bad happens to you when you fight the squirrel. <laughs> and then I got a nat 20 roll on that, on that kick on the wow, squirrel. He's like, I and, across the map. I freaking like 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 a field goal kicker. I just like kick that squirrel. Yeah, but the amount of blood that, that like came out on this one little thing, I felt bad, and it was it was so crazy. I was like, "What the?" Like I was not expecting yeah, I, all of this. Yeah, I did so, not mean to obliterate you, little. Yeah, squirrel. it's like I just wanted you to get out of me. Don't gnaw my feet. Yeah. So there's so many of these little crazy options and stuff like that in this game. Like there was. So my friend played like this thing about it was like talk, a talking dog or was talking to a dog or something because he could talk to animals and uh <laughs> he would he refused to move but then he he pushed it too much so now you had to fight the dog and then he was like <laughs> he was like uh i'm not gonna kill a dog and he had to re- he reloaded his session because, <laughs> because of it <laughs> it is it's insane, dude. I was like, I mean, wow. I can't do it. I can't yeah. do it. Yeah, that's exactly what he did. He just he backed <laughs> out. I was like, oh my God. It's like, just kill the dog. <laughs> it was I it is, love that, dude. It is amazing on the the, the, ah. the choices and the stuff that you can do on this in this game. And it is incredible. I will say, like, this is 
like the the uh the attacking the system itself like you can even do things like like environment uh like uh use the environment for your uh for your gain when you're attacking like you could dip mm-hmm. like you could dip your sword on a uh, dip your sword in a fire so that you have a fire sword or whatever and things like like uh all this different kinds of crazy stuff and i'm like this is like like and from what i played two years ago to what i played now is night and day difference this is a completely different game they just loaded it with just like all like D and like uh the D and D feel was is a lot more impactful in this one, yeah. and just graphically and and I I'm running on on, a, on an old school card. I think I'm running on a GTX. Yeah, I'm running on a GTX 1080 Ti. So it's an old mm-hmm. card, and it's I mean even though it's using about 100 percent of its resources to run it, uh it, it's still running pretty pretty well and beautiful and as as, as, as like seamlessly. So yeah, mm-hmm. and the uh, the multiplayer freaking great i I mean i like i haven't seen does i didn't say does said isn't this game multiplayer too like you can play through the whole campaign with the group it is it's up to four player co-op i smell weekly recorded game sessions gosh all right i'm gonna buy it <laughs> does that take much, buy it. Who's it doesn't take much to convince you yeah it, it doesn't take, take much, much to convince anything you. this is my kind of game i love <laughs> i love D. i uh-huh. love rpgs I love co-op. What better way to go through some epic things than with some of my friends? Yeah, this is I, all up my alley, dude. And I can play it. I'll play it when I have time. You know what I mean? Like it doesn't. Like I don't have to feel like I have to rush through it to to like get to end game or anything like that. Is there like what happens at end game? I don't know. Well, how, you know how long is this game? Uh, well, I don't. I, I I honestly don't know how long the game is. I mean, the game came out uh Thursday, I believe. But like, uh-huh. if it's a, it's a long session and it's very free, like your like the quests that you can do and stuff like that. So it's hard to say. Uh, usual Baldur's Gate games do last a while though. So who knows? I was gonna uh, say. So I it. know Baldur's Gate. So Baldur's Gate is an older title. I remember my mm-hmm. brother played Baldur's Gate. I want to say two, like when we were either teenagers or kids or something. And he mm-hmm. loved it. That's how I knew what Baldur's Gate was. I personally had never played a Baldur's Gate. Oh, uh, yeah. But everything that you're describing is like, yeah, dude, yes, I want to go on a campaign uh, in this magical land where I can be whatever I want to be. Of course, I'm going to be a sorcerer. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Oh, here's another thing, though, too. Just to be on the safe side, if you ever stream this, and I ain't kidding, I am not kidding you. There is full on nudity in this game. So I heard about it like yeah. scum, right? Uh I didn't know about I didn't know that, I didn't know that scrum did that, but uh yeah, Absolutely. like there's a <laughs> <laughs> Yeah, so there's a there's a checkpoint, a check mark you have to turn on the new the, so so they, they could do it, but if you turn it off, mm. you can see stuff like dragon wing and like <laughs> Like, like all that ah, stuff. It's, it's crazy. Stays on. I want the yeah. full experience. You don't know, just know if, that if you you're can gonna, never if you're, gonna put, if you're gonna put if you're gonna put bits and bobs in your game, <laughs> I need to experience the game how it was truly meant to be experienced, and that's yes. not with some sort of pixel filter. I can tell you that right now. <laughs> I don't know that I'll. I don't know that I'll ever stream it. No. Well. This well, is- I, I I want to stream it, but the problem is, is because of my card, uh, it is like it, it it's dropping a lot of frames. I, but I yeah, I'm not going to do it. Up, I feel yeah, yeah, essentially. But uh, it's just the card. Like uh, my computer is up to date on everything else. It's like if I have a better card, I think I would be fine. But yeah, it's crazy. Yeah. Uh, yeah, uh, let's see. Day night says, dude, there's a scene with a dude and the uh, and the. Oh yeah, this is the thing that's that's controversial right now. But dude, there's a scene with the dude and the bear, <laughs> and you see things happen with a. <laughs> troll yeah let's just keep that among, uh, among the the vivid imagination of this what this game can do yeah because you could do it you could you could you could do it if you if you if you're wanting to do it but this game is freaking like if this is the embodiment of D- of dungeons and dragons in a video game like Baldur's gate 3 hit it out the park on that and i definitely I love, love I love this game, dude. Like I, I've only played it for two days, and I'm still like I, I like. And then maybe after, if I when I after I'm done with my errands, I'm gonna come back with my group with my friends and play some more of it tonight. So like, it's just I'm telling you, I'm picking it up game. right after the podcast. Dude. <laughs> I am. I'm gonna fucking do it. Yeah, Should I put it on the SSD. I'm gonna put it on the SSD. You should definitely want to put it on an SSD. Yeah. Or do you have an M.2? <laughs> huh? Yeah, yeah. Yeah, put your, I would put it on an M.2. It'll be even faster. Yeah. 
But uh, yeah, yeah no, no, that's, that's, what I, that's what I mean. <laughs> oh, 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 yeah, yeah, yeah. So like, yeah, I'm not. I'm. Yeah, I decided to. Uh, yeah, I decided. Well, I can't even record it because it's, it takes too much. Uh, takes too much resources still. Uh, I, exactly. Like, I, I would need someone else to do the recording. I would love to do a recording of it and maybe just post it on the YouTube channels. Uh, that's shameless what I'll plug do. the CFG channel. Yeah. Uh, but the. Uh, hey. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. So the uh, but for the most part, yeah, dude. Like this game has like yeah. This is if you have people that are across like wanting to play that is a gamer and love D and D and stuff. Yeah, definitely do it. Just do the campaign. It's freaking hilariously awesome. Uh, yeah, and uh, surprisingly, like, well, I'm already biased with against Zelda itself. Zelda, don't get me wrong. Zelda, the new one is a good game, but I still think this game still beats us out of the park. Uh, right now uh, uh, for game of the year. I've only played a couple hours of <laughs> Zelda so far. Mm -hmm. Well, I mean, do you agree? I mean, does, like Zelda itself doesn't really. Oh, do we lose you? My, oh, sorry. My, my PC. I don't know what's going on. It's going crazy. Yeah, I'm I'm mm. taking I'm getting spikes. You take it easy over there. I'm not uh, saying yeah, anything. Really that, but, no, not you. I was oh. talking to Dust in the chat. He said that was the best freeze ever. <laughs> um, yeah, yeah, I don't know. Uh, uh, I don't know. I just haven't really had a big, like, oh, I got to grind out into uh, Tears of the Kingdom. Like, I knew out the gate that I'm going to take my time with it. So I have been doing that. And there's just so many good games out and so many yeah. games, you know, I'm playing. I'm just like, when? Well, here's, when? here's the thing with Zelda for me, um, with this Zelda. Uh, you're just playing more Breath of the Wild. I mean, the only thing that, that they added to to the new Zelda to me is the uh the building aspect of you can build all these crazy machines and stuff. I mean, which is huge. It, I on. mean, but it's still not. I mean, but you're still fighting the same enemies. You're still dealing with the same kind of the still the uh, the same kind of deal. You're now just finding a way to kill them in a more creative way. That's the. <laughs> I mean, that's really it uh, to, uh, to me. Uh, and you know what? It, 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 it works. It works. And I'm not, and, uh, and I'm not, I'm not judging it. So, like, in my opinion, to say like, oh, this game is going to be, because like, I guess the the big, and the highly anticipated game of this year to me, I guess, would be Starfield. If Starfield is as good as it says it's going to be, but other than mm -hmm. that, like right now, I I will not be surprised if Baldur's Gate is going to be is in talks with Game of the Year because this game is freaking insane. Like, I I will I, I will can say, see, I have a hard time believing that I'll win it though. Oh, it's definitely it's definitely an underdog. I was say I'm not saying because it's not a good game or anything like that, or or it's just like I just feel like this genre does not get as much love as a lot of the other genres, and then they're also oh, they're also battling against other I like the characters within the game, and I don't know if this like falls along a story path from like the other previous Baldur's Gates, um, but like I I feel like you gotta look at that stuff too. In terms of when they're looking at naming a game a game of the year, I feel. I mean, yeah, there's a lot. Of, there's gonna be a lot of different kinds of things. Or agree with it, but yeah. Yeah, I mean, it, like I, I think, like yeah, I think if you love these kind of, yeah, well, I just think, uh, especially the people here that are listening to this podcast, to definitely, if you love these kind of RPG, if you love RPGs, this is a true embodiment of what a good, what an old school, like an old school, D, like or I'm sorry, not RPGs, but D and D. You should D &D, definitely yeah. you should definitely play this. It, it like these are the Larian Studios is the same company that did Divinity uh, uh Divinity Two and stuff. So, yeah. but even to that aspect, this is a completely different feel of what Divinity uh uh D Divinity is to Baldur's Gate. Like it is a night and day mm -hmm. difference. There are two. They have two different levels of identity that I think that they did a great job of separating itself. So, uh, I think yeah. So nothing but good things right now i mean there are some small like small glitches however but i mean patch updates and stuff i the opportunities are could be like po the possibilities of this game is, is literally endless they already had twitch drops yesterday on this so yeah like, i like yeah. that too that twitch yeah. integration with this dude you've already convinced me i'm buying it i'm literally buying it after after we're done here <laughs> so we'll see if i play it tonight or maybe i'll get some in tomorrow but uh yeah, I was already looking at it. Now it's just like, mm. damn, dude. It's like, I know I don't have the time, but it sounds <laughs> so freaking dope. It's like, dude, this is like straight up my alley. And it's yeah. an RPG and it's turn based combat. Come on, dude. I'm here for it. 
Yeah, I am I would, here for it. Yeah, I'd be mean, like, yeah, definitely. If you, yeah, du- uh, ask Dust if he was going to if he if he was going to pick it up. Uh, but I, I already knew Dust. Yet. I didn't even have to ask him. Dust didn't pick I didn't it up even yet. have to ask him. You know, he hasn't picked it up yet. He said he's going to pick it up this week. Yeah, but so uh, if he did. yeah, I know this. This is the dude that that told me about Demio on VR, and we played through some Demio, which is which is VR D and D. Essentially, it's fantastic. It's a great game. Hmm. Uh, if you have if you have VR, uh, look it up, Demio. Okay, yeah, I definitely need to take a look yeah. at that. But yeah, so overall, guys, this I uh, like. I know we usually do a game of the year pick at the end of the year, but like this is definitely up on. This is definitely a big contender on for me. So, so, uh, uh, but yeah, so definitely check it out. Uh, uh, check it out. It is available at all. Po- uh, well, no, I'm sorry. Uh, you know, in fact, uh, it's not out on Xbox. They're saying Xbox is <laughs> uh, Xbox's version is going to be delayed until 2024 because the yeah the problem is that the because uh, the rule of Xbox is it has the, you have to play uh, the games have to play on both the S and the X. Uh, right. The problem is that the S isn't strong enough to play with all the modes that it uh uh for Baldur's Gate yet uh at all so they're ne- but there and there's no wiggle room for them to 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 remove stuff out of the game uh, out of the game so the S can play it so they uh so they're they're trying to find ways to uh uh to get that working and then once the once it's uh, once it's implemented correctly for the S, then it can be released regularly on the X and stuff like that. So that's why it's got delayed to 2024. I believe it comes out on PS5 on console next month in September. But you can get it now. It's on technically it's early. It's still early. It's a technically uh, uh, early release uh, on PC right now, which you can get on Steam. Um, it's, a, mm. it's a pricey game, but I think it's worth it. It's very very rare to say. Sixty dollar, very rare for sixty dollar games to be worth the amount that they that they charge. So it's gonna be it's gonna be great, uh, great. Uh, what'd you say, Dust? Uh, so I was originally going to wait to get uh, Baldur's Gate three until I replay Baldur's Gate two again, but I want to do some weekly shindig stuff. Yeah, I would just I would just play three, dude. <laughs> just like just play three, and then then two, two I think that's what he's time. saying. <laughs> yeah, I think that's what yeah. he's saying. Yeah, yeah. It's just uh, picking it up, doing some weekly stuff. I'm, yeah, that'd like be great. for me too, especially like I'm like. And I know a lot of people are kind of feeling this way and whatnot too in the Destiny community, but I don't know. As it as it stands right now, I think after the final shape, I, I think I'm gonna I think I gotta walk away from Destiny. Are you getting uh, tired of not, it or bored of it? Or like what's going on? Both. I love the story. The story's great, but the weekly grind, the the, the like there's more focus on their paid stuff. I feel that personally their teams had their focus is on marathon. Mm. Uh, again, that was their first FPS uh, back in the '90s, and and they're gonna they're gonna go they're going full force into that. So I don't know what happens after the final shape, but I've already decided I'm gonna ride it out till till the light and dark saga ends. After that, I'm just like meh. I, I think I'm gonna move on. Uh, hey, it's hey, been it's, 10 a good, years. it's a good it's been ride. 10 years. It's a good ride. Yeah. So there you go. Uh, and T Man yeah. says, How does the turn based combat work? Uh, the turn based combat works, NT, uh, is that so what you, What happens is there's going to be a, a, an attack phase, like let's say someone aggros you or a, an enemy aggros you. Uh, it's tur- it, the, uh, it, you basically have like a, a meter, like on your bottom right hand, co- like your bottom right hand uh, corner of your screen that uh, gives you a, like a certain amount of, of, of range that you can walk in to it kind of think of it kind of like uh uh xcom kind of like that you know like you had to you uh, you had a certain amount of reach XCOM, but i heard that yeah good yeah yeah yeah. it's like you have a tactical a range that you can go to a certain amount maximum Ooh. range so then uh so you have like your base attacks so you choose like you know your regular attack and whatever now uh there's not uh now you have special abilities but your special abilities you'll you have a certain amount that you can do in one day just like you do in like in the dnd session so uh so you got to be very careful if you really need to do that ability at the time or if you if you want to hold out uh before you need to do a full rest period so uh, other than that it's it's just like it's just move it's uh there's, there's a bar that tells you whose turn it is you move over and then you just say attack or whatever do what you whatever you're wanting to do and then and then end your turn and then go to the next guy and so on and so forth so it's really uh it's very it's simple D&D. yeah it's very it's very simple yeah yeah so yeah you you, you could easily pick it up now what could be a little bit overwhelming is that the sort that there are a ton of spells 
because there's like there's like uh you have like a you uh if you're a, like for instance if you're a sorcerer there's so many branches of different kind of sorcery that you can do that that can be a little bit overwhelming but oh uh, at the same time yeah at the same time it's uh uh you may be able uh but once you kind of like have time to read what you what you're wanting to do or what your what your plan is going to be at or what you're trying to build to it's a lot it gets a lot simpler so so yeah so there you go uh yeah how how's the crafting you know what i have not i i I've, haven't played long enough for the crafting yet oh how's the crafting is there a huge i do not know to be honest with you so uh if there if uh if, I, there, if I do come across if, it i'll let you know if you're familiar with D D at all it is D D just a video game mm-hmm. essentially dude like you know what i mean think about a lot of the parameters that work in a D D <laughs> campaign uh are are set within within the game, so it plays very much like a D and D and and uh, a video game D and D. So mm-hmm. uh, if you're into that kind of stuff, like this, it's right up your alley. Uh, not only that, but from everything that I've been seeing and people, what Davis is saying here is that they've kicked it up a notch, and not only have they given you all kinds of just different ways to play the game, to experience things. Mm-hmm. All kinds of stuff. Four player co op, which is very mm-hmm. enticing as well. Like romancing it sounds dope. your people. I can't deny it's it. insane. Yeah, it's ridiculous. I'm sorry, you say romancing your people? Yeah, you can romance your people. See, you can romance your people. I'm gonna romance the shit out of you. <laughs> <laughs> Ooh, I'm, I'm way above your league, my friend. So no, Whoa! there's no way. <laughs> it's that I'm out of your league. I'm way up there for you. So there you go. <laughs> <laughs> that's freaking hilarious Aww. all right uh, <laughs> smitty what's your topic what are you bringing to the yeah table? i i got a quick one here i just wanted to i thought this was interesting especially the fact that um you know we know and and what i feel at least with uh xbox and and uh microsoft and their integrations and where they've been going with but uh recently uh, here the other day, um, they basically are working uh, in in deeper integrations with uh, why am I uh, Discord? Mm-hmm. So <laughs> essentially, what they're allowing to do is, and we know both on PlayStation and on Xbox, there's there's now Discord integration. I've always thought that was huge. Uh, and Davis and I talked about it a little bit too. There was at one point in time where Microsoft was Microsoft and Discord were working on a deal for Microsoft to buy uh, and, and purchase Discord that ended up falling through. I think this was like back in 2021 um, and that ended up falling through. But what's interesting, uh, number one, is that we've been seeing Discord, especially with some of their latest updates. Uh, they're seeming to be more of a legitimate platform in terms of a place to be able to stream things. They've got games directly integrated in there. We know that there's bonuses and stuff like that with Nitro, uh, which is great. But I love to see the fact that, again, I, I don't know what it is. For some reason, I think my Twitter algorithm is has just been freaking out or whatever. Uh, but... They uh they they essentially have been uh, I, don't, I don't know that, that was the thing that that happened there, um but they essentially are they've been integrating more and more of that stuff. I feel that you know I've been seeing a lot of weird console war things. Mm-hmm. Uh, I definitely feel that Microsoft and they have for a while now been pushing forward and really leaning into the cloud gaming aspect whether you like it or you don't like it to me that is the future game of gaming at least on more of a consumer level and on on a you know what i mean like just random people making things more affordable and accessible for people uh the fact that you're able to now not only can you use discord to speak in it and stuff like that but you can actually go in and you're able to stream your gameplay from whatever your thing is. Ah, that didn't work. <laughs> from whatever your thing is. Ah! <laughs> then, you know, again, I, I just love to see the fact that there's this integration um, and, and this kind of stuff. How that will benefit you, 
to me, that kind of positions Discord to be a place that, like, you don't even have to be, like, on a Twitch, a kick, or, or anything like that. You can stream directly in Discord and do things directly in Discord where you had your camera up and, like, say that, you know, maybe, you know, you have a some sort of exclusive tier or something like that where you do these off streams directly on Discord as opposed to doing it on somewhere else. So it gives you a little more control as a creator, especially especially if you're curating content uh, for a specific group or or as an ex- incentive uh, for folks to do like a tiered thing or something like that. So I think that's fantastic that they're doing that. Um, they said that the new feature is, this is a, a, from a Verge article, mm-hmm. the new feature is starting to roll out to Xbox Insider's uh, in the alpha, skip ahead in alpha rings of testing today and should be available to all o- Xbox u- owners in the coming months. So they didn't really give a hard, it just sounds like it's going to be a gradual rollout of this. If this is something that you may be able to uh, utilize. Much like the existing Discord integration on Xbox is all built into the parties and chat section of the dashboard. So you'll be able to do it directly from, say, your Xbox, if you have one of the consoles, the X's or S's, uh, there will be that option like there is on PlayStation and, and whatever to, to do that stuff, uh, which is nice. So it's like, again, it's nice to be able to see these parties come together and make things a little smoother and, you know, be able to integrate both things into that into the UI and stuff like that. Because, I mean, this is where gaming is. We are at a point where... It doesn't matter what platform you're on. We have more and more of the ability to play with our friends, uh, whatever platform they're on. There's particular games that you're able to do that. And they see the numbers in that. Hence why I believe that they are going harder in the paint with it. And finally, after some, some dragging and tugging, you know, play Sony PlayStation and has embraced it a little bit. More than mm-hmm. what it was before, because before it was like, we'll never do that. That ain't for us. We're PlayStation, bitch, exclusive. <laughs> <laughs> Doing Discord for a bit, for about a year, two no, years. No, and now, I'm not even this. talking about, I'm not even talking about Discord. I'm talking about crossplay in general. Mm. Remember, dude, they, they were, they were fighting crossplay tooth and nail. Uh, but again, and I think uh, the, the, this is why in the history of video games, Fortnite will always be in and should be in the conversation because mm. it really changed a lot in the video gaming space. Uh, not only p- because of the game, but to me, that was the big one that made Sony be like, I guess we'll, I guess we'll do it. I guess we'll, uh, do you guys can do crotch play now. I think some of the thing, well, yeah, well, yeah, it was the, well, the reason why, uh, yeah, but with Fortnite, Fortnite really did change the bubble of everything of how things work, but it, I, I guess I'm not like like right. I mean, Discord's integration in general is. I've just come to really been noticing that that you could do a lot like already now with Discord. Uh, uh, how it is now, like you can monetize, like you can set it up if you're wanting to do if you're wanting to um, uh, put a paywall to for specific access to your own servers. You can do that if you wanting uh, if you're wanting to do that uh and stuff. And now, and I guess I, I guess what I'm not understanding is that. Is this saying like uh, because what's you could technically stream an Xbox game onto Discord if you have the the equipment to do so? But are you saying like you can like instead of having the equipment to do so, you can raw rawly uh, if you had an Xbox Series X, you could just stream it from Xbox Series X directly to Discord? Yes, through the party and chat options. Okay, through the party and chat options. Yeah. Okay, so because that makes more sense. Because I was like wondering, I'm like when now the only thing that Discord is missing is like a. um, is the accessibility you know what i mean like you know like how it is on twitch you have a cover page or front page where it'll be like hey go to this person's channel and uh see what they're wa- see what they're playing and stuff there's not a mm-hmm. the, the, there's not a system to kind of do that itself unless twitch is planning on doing some or switch i'm sorry discord is doing something like that that's going to make them more allow uh, allow you to be to show more exposure to you and your commu- and new communities instead of saying Oh, you have to click on this link to be invited to my server to so you can see what I am doing. 
you know, that kind of thing, that like a better way of doing that kind of level of integration. If they do that, then 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 you're right. Then I think that like then the contention uh, there is a contendership of saying Discord being a, a, a somewhat of a semi streaming service, but it, their 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 focus isn't just streaming. Like on like Twitch or Kicker and stuff, it's uh there's so many other outside revenues that you can use through Discord to be able to uh to be able to support yourself uh if you're uh, if you're wanting to and then just uh, but I but I definitely think that the first corner step of Xbox doing that uh doing this is a very good start uh good start um uh, I guess the I guess another question would be um. This is for the heart for hardware side of Xbox. Do you really seriously like? I don't know if if Xbox is really going more for cloud base it, itself. It's kind of a mute point in my opinion because it's like I don't think that they're. I think that like because I mean cloud. I mean cloud base. You don't need a system anymore, and theoretically, you wouldn't if you don't need a system anymore. You, you you're just going to use your computer or your phone or whatever, and you can already do that kind of stuff on discord <laughs> uh, like without without any applications and stuff you know so well i believe this is more of a w for discord than microsoft again and and this is going back to when microsoft was ready to pay 10 billion dollars for it and they said oh nay nay i don't know about you but it would be very hard for me to pass up 10 billion not million i'm just so glad billion dollars <laughs> you know what i think i think they knew their worth that's what I think. Well, because, that's exactly uh, right. I think that's what it was. Because, yeah, <laughs> they knew exactly that they get right. more. Yeah. And I think for more. them on the Discord side, and this is why this is dubs for Discord, I think they're slowly building to be a platform where they would do something like that. Hey, they've got a browse section and stuff like that. They're just doing it. That's not, that was never their main thing. I think they're slowly working their way into that space. Because think about how many communities that are hosted there the server and stuff like that. They've got a great infrastructure. They've clearly been dabbling and doing that stuff. So it's there. They don't have to rush it. The people are already there. What they're doing, I feel, is beefing up what they need on the back end. Hey, you can play your 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 uh, uh, Xbox and you can directly stream to Discord. I, I guarantee you the same thing is going to happen with PlayStation. We saw both integrations come with Xbox first, and then PlayStation wasn't too far behind. Those are deals that are probably in the making. I think PlayStation's a little bit more stubborn that way, because like you were saying, because like That's PlayStation's true. pretty is pretty old school Japanese business when it comes to that kind of stuff. Like they're like when it, uh, I feel like they're behind in that though. Well, I mean, they are. They don't. It. They don't. They don't like sharing their toys with other people. They obviously right. they never did. They never did. And like the only reason why they did what they did with, with Fortnite was because they had their arms tied because of of of, of a of a gigantic community uh, asking for it. So like, uh, it's I think more than just Fortnite now, that's what I'm saying. Fortnite. I felt like was the one that kind of cracked the ce ceiling open, but there's all kinds of games now between PlayStation and, and all the other ones that cross plays enabled all across the map. Modern warfare or call of duty mm -hmm. is another big example of that. They know they, the crack, they have no, but like, it's not it's just, just a crack. crack. They realize no. that they have they no longer have that leverage in terms of that. I was talking with somebody the other day too, and it's like, look at it. We're about, and I'm going to say it with quotation marks, halfway through the console life cycle. They're talking about a pro or something like that next year, all that stuff. We really haven't gotten many games that have taken full advantage of the raw power in both of those systems the haptic feedback this and that like it feels game games wise there really isn't a lot of reason to be like hey man i have to have a ps5 yeah there's some solid exclusives but nothing that made you if there's no the last of us where it's like i have to have this console because of this game it's I'd, just not there. I think it depends on what you're looking for specifically. I uh, like. What do uh, you mean? 
Like, I mean, right now, I think, like, for instance, like, like, uh, when you see, like, there's a lot of people I know that got a sick, a PS5 for 16, for instance, even though 16 okay. is technically region locked. Then also, you don't think that Spider Man 2 is going to be a, uh, you don't think Spider Man 2 is going to be a reason why people are going to be buying this, uh, buying the system itself. Or, uh, or like, uh, I'm, uh, now I will agree that there is, they don't have the quantity of, like, you know, proprietary games to be like, hey, I'm going to, yeah, I need to get the system because I'm missing out for this kind of thing. Uh, they definitely don't have that to what the PS4, or the PS3, or and stuff like that had in its in its heydays. But like, I will say that, but uh, but the uh, so I could kind of see what uh, with, with PlayStation on that Xbox, absolutely. There's no, I mean, they, they don't. They, there's nothing. There's nothing on a, a on a reason, absolute reason on getting it un, right. until like maybe Star, maybe Starfield. But but even that, it's like kind of a fifty. It's a it's a very specific group to to be like uh, to be saying yes to. <laughs> You know, Trinetta says, homie, please. I paid six hundred dollars for Final Fantasy six. Yeah, see, that's what I told you. Yeah, exactly. <laughs> exactly. Oh, I'm not saying that there hasn't been. I just I'm feel saying... that where we're at in the life cycle, you know what I mean? In 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 how things went. Obviously, there is a pandemic that slowed things up mm -hmm. greatly as well. It just mm -hmm. feels like we're still closer to the infancy in terms of games wise but we've been in the next generation for a few years and i just feel like we haven't gotten a lot of next generation games and i'm talking about across the board across uh, the board overall to totally console. yeah you're right but like however i'm saying that proprietary wise like specifically to get on the playstation there's a lot more proprietary games specifically on the playstation and i understand that would that. say I that would say that could that could buy, that would force that would say i got to get the system for that but it depends I'm on the way you play i'm not denying that i'm uh -huh. not denying that i am not denying that but let's even look at at let's look at the numbers at this point in time the playstation 5 has sold less than the PlayStation Four, right? I don't know. So I honestly don't know. I, I believe I believe that's the case. I can look it up uh, though. Hold and, on. And 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 I think that's over the amount of time over over uh, the amount of time from release. Uh, so we'll say three years or whatever. Um, but to me, and and again, they're they're just and there are games because I would have gotten it with Final Fantasy VII Remake. So don't don't even like yo. I was getting it day one regardless. Like it didn't even matter, and I knew that this is going to be the case. I just feel like where we like where we're at in the life cycle of consoles. Oh I'm my just god! Like, I feel like things are lagging. So you know, like I just feel like it's lagging in term and and I mean both the the consoles and the and the games uh, utilizing the technology and what it can do we haven't had a lot i feel that have pushed the limits and i'm not saying that there haven't been great exclusive uh games or anything like that mm. i just feel personally the market shift the market is shifting and and they realize that they've they've bought into microsoft's uh infrastructure in terms of in terms of cloud gaming and stuff like that they are definitely behind on that front i feel that microsoft is leaning into this for for a grip now I, I don't think that, and they realize it, and they they outwardly said it. Selling Xboxes were never their their main priority. Uh, the that whole gaming section was never their main priority. Yes, they could bring money in and stuff like that, but I don't feel that they've ever really focused on that stuff. But with cloud gaming, they are definitely, I feel, leading the pack. In terms of the, what the future of well, gaming is, the pack. there's no competition to it. <laughs> what do you mean? There's no competition uh, for what Xbox is making. No, there's no, no competition no, not, that's not going to compare to what they're not doing. Not for what they're making. I'm talking about in the cloud gaming space specifically. I mean, like, is, the, like the world of what, like, I mean, like with uh, the uh, with Azure, they made their own server bases, and as well as they made their own like these different kinds of like right. these different points of what they're making. I mean, they're building up something that that's a that's that's original. So it's yeah. hard to say, like, uh, uh, to say now there is cloud gaming already, but it's nowhere near what what Xbox is making. But uh, well, that's uh, my point. But like, however, I will say this because like uh, I was saying that I was just taking a look at here on the numbers here and then uh, uh, yeah, and year to date. And keep in mind because the pandemic really punched Sony and Microsoft in the gut for 
yeah. for uh for 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 two years because you remember there was a back order for for PlayStation and, fives um, you could keep on the shelves forever and the developers and, yeah. and the whole tech set uh, sector D like it took a yeah yeah, yeah. yeah. I mean I'm not gonna it. argue I'm not gonna argue about like you know because like I'm just gonna say let Xbox do whatever X, the hell Xbox do because they already know that they lost the the console war uh, uh for <laughs> it which is fine but but like at the same time though it's like okay here you go like. Just, uh, uh, try to find the thing to pivot and try to make it into something that you're wanting it to be, right. uh, and then and then and then and then work on it, and that, and that's exactly what they're doing. Uh, I, I, but like overall, though, I mean, I guess the the deal. I, I mean, with the integration that I'm seeing with like, like uh, with these if these the, these slight integrations for the hardware based side for Xbox like uh, itself, I guess I kind of see it kind of like minuscule. I I mean, it's cool that you can do it, but at the same time, it's like I really don't. I personally just don't really care because like that's not what they're building that's not what they're they're full envisioning of what they're trying to look at what uh, Xbox as a brand to be anyways which is going to be play everywhere not, and anywhere. So it's not really a Microsoft story. This is a Discord story. Yeah. This is a the, W yeah. for Discord. Oh yeah, it's definitely it's it is. W for Discord. Yeah. Ooh, yeah, they they get the boon being More able to have people directly exactly. And I can't imagine it's going to be too far behind before a feature similar or like that comes the playstation as well all right guys but uh guys thank you so much for listening to episode number 185 of the cfg gamecast thank you for being a part of the conversation as always we will be back again next week but if you did miss out on this episode that is okay we do release it on all podcast services like apple google podcast stitch radio podbean and so much more so there's absolutely no reason to miss out on our sexes sexy voices Ooh, <laughs> guys thank you <laughs> Thank you so much. And also, guys, be sure to go check out uh, uh, our website, confreaksgeeks.com. Next week, we're probably going to be showing out a lot of cool content from the videos that we did for the uh, conventions and stuff that we went to this past this previous week. So, so guys, once again, this is Davis signing off with Smitty. Y'all, take it easy. Bye.